Catherine, thank you. Here with Mojave Moffitt from the Horseheads Community Animal Shelter, along with Radar, who is very focused this morning on whatever Catherine's doing over there. But uh, Mojave, we've had Radar on before. I'm sure folks, some folks remember him, but uh, for those who, Radar's an all-new dog for them. Uh, tell us about him. So Radar is a younger dog, about one year old. He is neutered and up to the on shots. Um, he has put on some weight since he first came to the shelter, so he is real healthy now. He's a real good boy as well. He does really good with training. He loves to learn, so someone that could really keep him engaged would be great. Um, he does love other dogs as well. He has lived with dogs previously, so he definitely gets along with them. He just has some high energy, so someone he mm. can play with a lot would be great. Yeah, how is he uh, around cats usually? Or? Not great. <laughs> Not great cats. We're going to recommend no him. cats in the home for him. Yeah. I, uh, what kind of dog is he again? Remind we me. are not super sure. We are <laughs> obviously very affectionate. We think maybe some sort of shepherd Australian cattle dog mix. Yeah, that would make sense <laughs> about. Um, talk to him. Uh, talk to us about his personality. He seems very food motivated. We were playing with him earlier, kind of messing around with some treats. Laser focused. <laughs> <laughs> on getting treats. What, yes, what's going on with that? Yes, he is definitely food motivated and he does really love to work for food especially, so someone that can train him and use treats, that would be great for him. He loves the both of those, so p combining them is really nice for him. Yeah, and you mentioned training has been going along nice. Uh, uh, what other things would you say his, his owner would need to work on with him? Other than that, I think that's about it. He does just have a lot of high energy, but that mm -hmm. can definitely be taken care of with some walks and playtime with other dogs. Yeah, do you think, uh, say, like a, maybe a runner's interested in, in getting a dog, is he the type of dog that could go on maybe a few mile runs with folks? Or? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, wondering about, um, you mentioned he's up to date on shots and everything. <laughs> what, what do people need to know about the application process and if they're interested in getting radar? So they can apply at the shelter. They can either fill out the application online or they can come in person, fill one out there and meet him. Um, if they do have other dogs in the home, we'll have to arrange a meet and greet, but that can be done after the application. Yeah, you mentioned he's lived with dogs before. It just kind of precautionary there? or? Um, he seems to do pretty good with other dogs, but just to make sure that their personalities can mesh because mm -hmm. he can be a bit high energy for some other dogs. Yeah, for sure. And, and you guys at the shelter, I know you guys have been going through a lot of animals these past few months. Uh, what do you guys need uh, donation-wise or help-wise? Are you looking for volunteers to help take care of the animals? Currently, we could on? really use some canned dog food, and I think... I think the cats might appreciate some treats. <laughs> cats might appreciate some treats. I know Radar himself loves some treats. Uh, <laughs> I know you guys had an event at PetSmart over the weekend. Uh, how'd that go for you? That went pretty good. We had quite a few visitors, people saying hi to the dogs, so that was really nice. Nice. And if you want to go say hi to the dogs, the Orsheds Community Animal Shelter always hosting visits and open hours for people. Anyone interested in adopting Radar here or any cat or any other dog, they have great people over there. Well, Thank you, Mojave, for coming Thank in, you. as always. Thank you, Radar, for paying us a visit. I know. <laughs> uh,